Hey YouTube, we got us some viewer mail. Just too cool. Uh, I know what it is. It's from uh, Robin Torres. And he sent me something. He said he was going to, and I've been looking forward to it for a while. I just figured since I'm in the shop working on the Bronco, I figured I might as well go ahead and open it. So, I can get the box open. He sure did tape it up good. Now, son of a gun. There we go. Okay. Here she be. Hey, check that out. Bud Light bottle bank from Robin Torres. This is going to go really good in the shop. I've been trying to figure out where to put it, and I think I've got a perfect place. Um, he had mentioned putting it over on the oil rack, but I don't want it to get all dirty, and I still want to be able to put my change in. In fact, oh, look at this. We'll make the first addition to the beer fund. There we go. It's going to go right up. Uh, I'm going to make sure you guys can see it on the camera. We're going to put it right up here. How's about that? I like it. That's the biggest Bud Light model I've ever seen. That thing's pretty awful cool. So, Robin, thank you. Uh, great big million. Um, as long as I got the camera on, I'm going to show you guys what else I picked up here last night. This is part of that trip I, I took. I took a trip last night. I guess this video will probably be before the Bronco video. I've already shot a little bit of footage there. but <clears throat> So, we got tires. We got tires for the brown cow. And they are 32-11-50s. I, uh, went to Golva, North Dakota. And, um, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit nervous about taking video outside because of the neighbor. I don't want the neighbors thinking I'm crazy or something, but, but anyways, <laughs> uh, well, I might be, but, hmm, maybe it's not such a bad thing. Anyways, uh, went to Golva, North Dakota. I paid 125 bucks for four tires. They're, uh, Sears trail handlers or something like that. Um, 32 by 1150s for 15 inch rims and they'll go on the Bronco on the brown cow because I got the 31s on this side right now I just wanted to see what they'd look like and it'll easily clear 32s it's looking like so um, so yeah we'll get those on shortly after we put the motor in I don't want the thing sitting up way too high when I go to jerk the motor out of here because uh, my engine picker is kind of small and um, yeah, I don't want to get myself into a into a hairy pickle. So, anyways, let's get on with that. You guys will see those on the Bronco pretty shortly here.